What's going on, everybody? Today is Wednesday, June 9th, 2021, and uh, you are watching Open Shutter Live. We've yes. got Paul, Brian, and Evans tonight. And hey. tonight we are talking about travel photography. So uh, I'm just going to get right to it and yes. kick it over to Paul. Oh, there's, my, there's, there's my travel agent right there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're booking a trip to where? <laughs> Who is that? Nowhere. Someone saying duck cleaners. Should we just wait for the call to go? Am I the only person that hears that? I heard it. Okay. I heard it because it was at my house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, thanks everyone for jumping on. Uh, if you were, if you were. Um, anticipated an NFT show, that's going to be pushed back to, I think, June 23rd, because the real story is that Meeks just moved, and where he moved, there is no internet, so he's, I think he moved like to like the middle of nowhere, so he's currently figuring out the internet situation, so we think June 23rd for NFTs with the speaker, so once we get that confirmed, we will start promoting that. It's going to happen, trust me. I think that's going to be one of my biggest accomplishments this year, to get that show going, so... Uh, but in place of that, we're doing a show about travel photography and just kind of like, um, my thing is, is that um, if you follow someone by the name of Brendan Vanson, who's a Canadian travel photographer, his thing is, um, you don't need to travel to be a travel photographer. Like his stance is, you can do travel photography where you live. And I can get more into that later on. But uh, yeah, if this is your first time on this show, all of us have YouTube channels, all of us do different stuff, same stuff. Photography, short films, documentaries, behind the scenes, gear stuff. What else do we do? Light painting. We do all kinds of crazy stuff on our channels. And that's what makes the show good because we're so diverse. And uh, yeah, July 2nd, haircut time. So I'm very excited about that. And restrictions are lifting this weekend. So there's a rumor that there might actually be a meetup in person. So stay tuned for that. And I'm excited because life is, I don't know, coming back to normal because it's, you know, summertime and I want to like do stuff with people. That's my rant. I could I could go on all day. I didn't stop. I haven't had dinner yet either. Uh oh. I know. I get cranky when I'm hungry. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> Grab a Snickers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Open Shutter. <laughs> right. So my name is Evans. Uh, based in Brampton. Shoot weddings, events, and everything else for fun. So. Uh, we're talking what? Travel photography, right? Um, like Paul said, for me, travel is maybe from here to five kilometers away to my backyard. <laughs> yeah, but uh, right. it's not about where you are. It's about what we do. So we're going to take a look and see yeah. what we can come up with in terms of travel photography for today. So it's going to be a fun show. Hope you enjoy Sweet. it. Uh, my name is Brian McGowan, Brampton-based photographer, videographer, and... Uh, I don't know. I just enjoy making videos. I often remember to hit the record button. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did it today, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we, the, the best part about live is you don't have to worry about the record button. And we're actually live tonight. No, no, from like last we are week, actually live then. tonight. So yeah. I got hey, time don't, live, don't forget we last to... week somebody forgot to hit the live button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so exactly. anyway, we're just uh, we're having fun and we're chatting about travel photos. So let's do it. So I'm just going to start off. Uh, so guys, what are some do's and don'ts you would recommend to people for traveling? Oh, I would say um, know where you're going, first of all, right? So I would say um, I'll just take the example of like street photography, right? Different countries have different rules for street photography. And yeah. And you know, some countries make it illegal for you to take someone to take some to take someone's picture on the street. So just understand what you're getting into because different countries differ on that stuff. And just like have like a level of respect of where you're traveling to because you know, you don't I mean, there's different cultures and customs and like exchanges of um, greetings and all that stuff. So just be aware of where you're going and have like a level of respect, first of all. Yeah, there's definitely some places where if you take someone's photo, it's expected that you're going to give them some money. Yeah, that's there true. There are places where you just don't take a stranger's photo. 
So yeah. like Paul said, just, just understand the laws and the ethics of wherever you happen yeah. to be because yes. it's going to be different. Yes. Yeah. I was just watching a video from Chris Howe uh, yeah. a couple of days ago where um, this guy went to Cuba. Yeah, I saw that video. His drone started flying and he got arrested because apparently yeah. the building he was filming had the Cuban president in it. Right? Yeah. So you yeah. gotta you gotta ask and make sure that you know what you gotta know what you're doing. where you are. Mm. And <laughs> right? Kevin's on and the I show think that too, if, so. if you go to a place for the first time, having a local guide um sometimes will help you avoid some of these situations. Hundred percent. Yeah. And like I mean, I've been in New York City, and if you go to New York City, it doesn't matter, you can shoot people all day with your camera yeah. and they don't care it's in you actually get people interacting with you because they're so used to tourists and uh of course. so if you actually want to shoot people go to new york city you're gonna have a great time yeah it might not work as much if you're in some of the, like let's i mean more rural states yeah uh, they might not like it as much like yeah. they said, know, know where you're going and uh, have a plan. Yeah. I'll take the example of if you ever go to Amsterdam, you cannot take pictures of the red light district because they will they will kick you out. They will probably beat you up too. <laughs> I'm not even joking. You, you can't take pictures in the red light district because they don't want any photos of the girls and the windows and all that stuff. So okay. you can't. So... You know, not not everyone knows that, right? But and, and it's not like there's a big sign saying "Don't take photos," but you're, you know, you're not supposed to. So it's a respect thing, right? Do your homework. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You just don't know it. Um. Someone can't Sorry. hear us. Are we? Are we on mute? I can hear everyone just fine. Uh, uh, Kevin sent us some great drone photos I can show in a bit. Also, Kevin, where where did you take those photos? I put the streamer link in the chat if you want to jump on, Kevin, and have a quick two-minute chat. Up to you. No, no biggie. I should pop in the chat on the YouTube here. Say hello. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but there's some great, great drone photos, though. I got it going. Sweet. Yeah, That's jump so on, right. man. Jump on. Jump on. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Oh, is that your mother? <laughs> that's, that's yeah, mom. I love it. I love it. She's just using my dad's old account. And, Aww, yeah. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassing. Thanks. Hey, man. <laughs> Gotta love moms. <laughs> Email me some baby photos of Andre. I'll put them up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, crap. Put it, put it up the next time we're talking yeah. about <laughs> yep. baby photos. Okay, yeah. fine. I'll go, I'll go week, get some. Next week is newborn photography. So. I'll there go find go. some. It's timely. I will Very find timely. some and show them next week. 100%. Uh, so what... Um, one of my big don'ts, and I've learned through experience, is don't bring too much gear. Yeah. Uh, easier, easier said than done, though. No, I know. It, easier said than done. Especially if you're going to walk a city or whatever, which is a great way to actually see a city. Yeah. Don't bring too much stuff. Uh, kind of limit it to what you think you're going to need. Um, yeah. I brought way too much stuff to New York City, and I just, like, killed my feet because I was yeah. dumb. And uh, I thought I needed everything, but I ended up only using two lenses the whole time. Mm -hmm. Which, which kind ones? Of, uh, which ones? My wide... Uh, uh, 15, 16 to 35 and my 70 to 200. Nice. Everything else was Good. just kind of a waste. <laughs> Good enough. So Less is more, man. Less is more. Like, do you just, yeah. uh, like, whenever you take less stuff, you just think clear because you don't have so, you don't have to think about it so much. You just like one lens, boom, I'm out, I'm out the door. Yeah. Instead of like on your, on your bed, you have like six lenses on the bed. You got to pick two. It's like, oh my God, what am I going to pick? You know, 40, 45 minutes later, you're like ordering room service. Kevin's yeah. asking um, where the link is to join Paul. It's in the YouTube chat. I think. Oh, I, I think. Um, I'll put it again. Having less is chat. good, but sometimes do you end up missing the stuff that 
I put it again. You, you did not break, right? <laughs> um, well, that's the thing. That's why it's so hard, right? It's so hard sometimes. It's so hard. But I, I get it. For for travel, you you want something versatile, right? So, yeah. um, if I'm traveling locally within Ontario, I don't care. I'll bring as much as I can carry. Yeah. Um, if I'm traveling overseas, then you gotta take in consideration because you also need to cut down the weight on your carry on and other stuff, right? True. So, uh, that's why having uh, a lens like um. One of something those like an 18 to 200, 18 to 200, yeah, something yeah. of that sort comes into handy because you're covered for a bigger range than yeah. just going with something like an 85 millimeter. Yeah, you yeah. give up a bit in sharpness on something like that, but but you're guaranteed to have the focal length you need. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't see the link come up in the chat yet, Paul. I put it twice. Hmm. I don't know unless I'm blocked. You you can't post links. Only Andrea can. Oh, oh okay. in the chat? Yeah. No, no, yeah. I'll go not on the YouTube thing. Yeah, you can't. Only I the can't? yeah. Oh, well, Andre, you gotta do it. Oh, okay. Here, I'll put it in the private chat and just copy and paste it. Oh, I didn't know that. I've been like now you know. I've been speaking yeah. to no one for eight months. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I put it in the private chat. Sorry, sorry, Kevin. I don't know how I still don't know how streamer works. It's been a year. Yeah, neither do I. It's it's not stream yet. It's uh, it's it's just YouTube. It doesn't allow you because you know how some people are using links for spams and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so oh, I see. I kind see, of block. I see. Unless unless um you are a moderator on the channel or you are yeah. the channel owner, you can post links. So where right. am I putting this link? Just put it on the YouTube chat. In the YouTube chat. So yeah. Kevin can whoever else wants to jump on. I should probably show the photos. I guess. There, there we go. go. Now I see the link. Sweet. Yay. Um, let me see. So where are some of your uh, places you want to go or you've favorite places you've been? For photography? Uh, yeah. Let's start with you, Paul. Um, probably Iceland is probably number one. It's a crazy place. Um, I'll share, let me just do this real quick. Um, there we go. There we go. Kevin Japan. Japan. Hey, yeah, Kevin's here. Hey, what's up? Hello. What's up, Kevin? What's going on? How's Maryland today? Yeah, it's nice and warm. It was like 95 yesterday. Sweet. I don't know what that is in Celsius. I have no idea. It sounds warm. It's warm here <laughs> too, so yeah. Uh, I don't feel as bad <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up a couple of your drone shots here, man. Some really good so stuff. So you were talking about rules and laws. I want to say so there's a post I'm posting tomorrow on Instagram. But yeah. as I was doing it, the security guard was trying to kick me out as I was flying. He's yeah. like, "You can't fly drones here. You can't do this." And I'm like, yeah. "Like, hold on, buddy. I was prepared. I had the Florida law. I had that already on my phone. I'm like, legally, yeah, I can fly here. I'm like, I'm flying with FAA laws. I have my license. Here's the license. There's a state law from the state of Florida. Like, I'm sorry, but you're wrong." And he kind of like shut up and went on his way. <laughs> Beautiful. So I like that. You do your research where you're going. Yeah. Yep. I just brought up a, one of your drone photos. Bond, oh, nice. Posted on the screen. Is this Florida? This is Aruba. Oh, this is Aruba. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. And this yeah, one I actually have printed on a like a four foot by five foot um, metal frame in my house. Like it's all in aluminum. That's nice. awesome. I made. I this love those nice metal print. prints. Yeah. You went there for holiday or for work? I went there in January just for to get away. Oh yeah. Well done. Yeah. Your first time first time down there? No, uh, that's my fourth time in Aruba. Oh jeez. Flying a drone there was everyone's like, Oh, you don't need to legally do it, but I like doing things legally, like you said, follow the rules. So I yeah, did you gotta know right? and control the air tower and I had to get a local cell phone number and a SIM card and pop it in my phone. And, yeah, yeah. You don't want to end up in prison in like Aruba, man. Yeah, no, exactly. Even so I followed Andre, really legally and I got an official form in case the police stopped me. But. Yeah, when Andre and I were on the East Coast, you're not allowed to fly in national parks in Canada. Yeah. You can actually write to the park and get permission to fly. And they will actually send a park ranger out to where you're flying uh, to help you secure a landing site. And also, in case anybody says anything, the park ranger's there to verify, no, these guys do have permission to be yeah. flying in this spot. 
That's the same here. I'm actually filming a wedding this Saturday, and it's in a national park, and I had to go through some hoops to get clearance for that. You got and done? It's, and when it's you, all there and if when you put you, in the effort. Yeah. And when you do it here, it doesn't cost you anything, which is kind of surprising, but it was, yeah, we took full advantage of it. Mm -hmm. I put up another, uh, this is like a lighthouse. Where'd you take this? Okay. Uh, That's Aruba too, yeah. This is Aruba too? Nice. Yeah. Jeez, man. Aruba is the place that keeps on giving. That one I had to get up at like five in the morning to get, but. It's worth it. <laughs> worth it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sleep if I was in a room with them. Just, I, I would count every sunset and every sunrise. There, I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right after I shot this, I'd probably do like a lap in the in the pool or whatever. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice. The drone shots, man. It always keeps on giving. Said so I have one I'm posting tomorrow. I've been waiting like two weeks to post it from Florida, but <laughs> sweet man. Oh, here's another one that I want to show off. Let's uh, do this. Okay, should have it, Andre. Yep. I like this one. I like I like the waves, man. Yeah, the waves are nice. Jeez. Yeah. That board, that, is this also Aruba? No, that's Florida. That's St. Augustine, Florida. Oh, okay. I was there like two, three weeks ago. Now that was like yeah, two, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Is that on the? Is that East what Coast? Are, or um, East Coast. What near altitude? What are yeah. altitude restrictions like down there? Uh, 400 feet. Again, I don't know what it is in meters, but. <laughs> okay. It's high, I guess. Yeah. That's, feet, must, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah, like what we are. We're 122 meters here. So. Yeah, it's like the same. Yeah. 400 feet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just not high enough sometimes. Yeah. True. <laughs> but you could go when, I don't know how it's in Canada, but in the U.S., you go 400 feet above a structure. So, like, if you're in a big city and you're a building, you can go 400 feet above that. Or if you find, like, a cell phone tower nearby or something, you're allowed to go 400 feet above that. Mm -hmm. yeah. and over here, the rule is um, 400 feet um, from your takeoff from where, point. From wherever you are, you, are, you are flying from. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, if you're flying from the top of the tallest building, then you have 400 feet from there. Yeah. Hmm. I dig it. Nice stuff, man. Yeah, it looks nice. So where's, where's your next, do you have a next trip planned out? I'm going back to Florida with my kids next month. All right. Oh, so Taking Disney World, so. Oh. <laughs> everything, everything, everything's open in the States, man. I know. Yeah, yeah, like, I, was, we're just, I just we're just started started Instagram, open. that was at Universal Studios when I was there. Oh, okay. I was watching the NBA last night. The stadium is yeah, packed and full. Packed. Oh, yeah, packed. I've been to like four baseball games already, and man, it's, I haven't worn a mask in a month. Orioles? <laughs> yeah. Orioles, Yankees. I went to Yankees opening day. Like, I want your life, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. It's like, we're just, we're just, we're just starting to open this weekend. Things are very exciting because we can go. Yeah, we, patio we can actually. Have it was patio. weird going in the stores without a mask. It was real weird at yeah, the beginning. Now I'm like, yeah, exactly. Well, I don't want to take over your show, but oh, cool, man. Well, thanks, thanks, thanks for jumping <laughs> on. It's always good to get it from the photographer instead of us trying to explain it. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Never mind having you on. You, good stuff. Yeah, come, so. on, come on. Come on anytime, man. I'll take Mr. Brian James' spot while he's working. Yeah, he's back. Oh. Yeah, you should you should send him a text saying, I just took your spot on the show. So He's been sending me like memes all day on Instagram. I'm like, Is, does, that, does he ever work that guy or what? Yeah. He says he does. He says he does. <laughs> He used to be my boss. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned. You mentioned. <laughs> oh, wow. Your boss. Um, well, tell him to get to work. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, thanks, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Wow. That was like a professional interview. <laughs> 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 nice. I just love it. people. Yeah. It's the best, man. It's the, the drone, like like drone photography, is like next level. It just it makes it just just next next level stuff, man. So you're saying I should actually charge mine and get it out? Yes, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay, fine. Yeah, then right now, I, I carry it in my backpack, except if I'm going to Toronto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> in Toronto, I don't know anywhere in Toronto you can mine. fly. Yeah, I can't even remember the last time I charged okay, one. Okay, fine. Here we go. 
Andre will have some good drones. There you go. There you go. I'm East Coast. Spot. Yeah. East yeah. Coast, baby. There you yeah. go. I don't think I've ever that's, seen that photo before. That's no? the place I want to go. So that's Lunenburg. Once everybody wants to go outside of Canada. I want to start from home. I yeah. Us. I love. <laughs> I want to go somewhere Halifax. You know, Lunenburg's um, pretty. that area. It's always nice to explore your own <laughs> place first, and uh, you know, because you're gonna see so much that you don't even know that's there. Yeah. I had the opportunity of going um, that area a couple years back. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't too much into photo photography at that, at that time. And ever since I started taking photos, I regret not having photos from that trip. So I want to go back to that place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you want to show that, Andre? I don't know. I can do it if you want. I don't know. It's mine. So, uh, shameless plug, follow my travel Instagram account because I need more followers. How many There's pages do you have? I have five. This is one of them. Oh. <laughs> well, because I don't like posting like travel photos after I post the CN Tower. To me, it doesn't really make any sense. But that's, okay. just, that's just the way that I curate content. That's why I have an Oakville one just for Oakville, Toronto, travel, just to make it all separate because that's the way I make sense of the grid because that's the only way I can make sense of my grid or else... Things are like all over the place, right? I know, but then you look at my I grid. Just, it's I just don't know how place. you keep up, though. I don't. I don't. I just. I just <laughs> wake up and just like hope, hope for the best. So shameless plug. You can follow travel, right? I know I spelt it wrong intentionally. Um. And yeah, this is where I kind of started to just kind of curate the content of where I've been. So, like, you asked me that my favorite place is. This is probably yeah. one of my favorite photos. Like in Iceland for like the Northern Lights. Oh damn! It was for my birthday. I think I told nice. the story. I went for my birthday, and like these Russian guys like on this tour company took us out in the middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden the lights come on, and the guys like in Russian ask and go, "This is the best show in months." And I told the guy, "Oh yeah, it's my birthday day." He goes, "Oh really?" In like a Russian accent, and he gives me whiskey. <laughs> so I'm not even joking. That's exactly what happened. So thank God nice. I made that alive. That's awesome. Um. So I flew like, like one of the bad things with, about the pandemic is that Wow Air, which was the budget airline to Iceland, which costs like next to nothing to get there, folded. So there's no more Wow Air because it costs like $400 to get to Iceland return. Except there's no like, there was no like, you can't check a bag. So it's only carry on. So what I did was I had my camera bag and I basically stuffed underwear in the camera bag and that's all I brought. Wow. <laughs> so I, was only, I was only there for like three days, right? So I, had a, I had a toothbrush, underwear, and camera gear. That's all I had with me. That's all you need. The essentials. That's okay. all you need. And like, and a tripod strapped to the side. <laughs> Clothes are overrated. So, so I don't know if you guys have paid attention to uh, airfare in Canada right now. Yeah. But you can go to Vancouver return for just over two hundred dollars from Toronto. Oh yeah. It's Seriously? Dropping, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Oh. They're desperate to get people on airplanes right now. That's tempting. That's Calgary's tempting. even cheaper. Oh, oh. Oh, I could go to Morant's Curve then. There you go. Get my shot I want. Your bucket shot. Yeah. Yeah, 100%, man. Um, what else do I want to show off this thing? Oh, I think I showed this before. This is one of my favorite photos, though. In Dublin, I don't know. I just, I just dig the photo. Guinness truck, the lady. I don't know. To me, it just like screams Ireland. You gotta and, love those uh, European streets. They're awesome. Well, like this, like street is like usually packed, but this is like really early in the morning. So I always try to get early in the morning because I don't like like tourists in the shots. So I always like try to get there real early, and then. You get stuff like that, right? Because if you come here like an hour later, this whole place is just a madhouse and it's no good, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Even when I want to do, um, where is it? Like stuff like this, you know, you just get the empty street. You know? Where was it? Spain. So I don't know. You just don't want like, these people. I don't know. I didn't mind the people. 
was all right, but yeah, you need some people on the shots. You do. Um, what was, what I wanted to show you though. Oh, maybe it's not even on this grid. Mm. It's possible. You mean it's a travel photo that's not on your travel photo? I don't grid? think so. <laughs> oh, no, I think I, I think I screwed it up, man. Disappointing. Oh, well, there's people here, but <laughs> you can see, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 the people are cool, but I don't know. If there was no one here, nighttime. Yeah, nighttime. The, the one advantage of having people in a shot is it provides yeah. scale. Yeah. Because everybody exactly. knows roughly how big a person is. Yeah. So exactly. if you just took a shot of that building you'd, with nobody in it, you'd have no idea you would. how large those columns are. I know. I but know. by including those people, that, that tells you those are massive. Yeah. It's oh, massive. yeah. It's massive, man. It's massive. Um. Yeah, this is this is the closest I'm gonna come to a drone shot <laughs> I'm on the roof of this freaking building. But man, if I had a drone over the ships, woo, next level. Again, no people. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I should have one one person there. That's why it's always good to like travel with someone because they can model for you, but usually I go on my own, so I don't have anyone, so you got yourself, I was, man. I have myself. I could do like, you know, put put on the timer and just like have me, I guess, in the frame. But, you know, you want you want people to like the photo, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want the likes. You want the likes. Um, I also like getting like close-ups of like just random people. Like I love this photo with like the sun coming down. Just nice. a random dude. I had my I had my two hundred mil and just like snapping away, like this nun here. I followed this nun for like a good five minutes because <laughs> I just I just like I I honestly liked your hat. You, you gotta be careful you don't get branded as stalker, you know. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> this place was so busy. Yeah. It was right beside the Coliseum. It was so busy, and she just like comes walking out, and I'm like, oh, I want to take a photo of you, so. I probably followed her for like five minutes and then she ended up at the bus stop and then she just stand like, where is this bus? <laughs> She's talking to the boss. She's talking to the boss. Like, what is the deal with this bus? Where's my bus? Right. Um, again, no people. Okay. Funny story with this one is like, this is like probably like 530 in the morning. And like, as soon as I got there, a freaking wedding photographer showed up and he was shooting this like couple. So I was, do, I was doing a vlog there, right? <laughs> this couple keeps staring at me because I guess I was ruining the vibe because I was doing the vlog. And it's like, they're like, look at me. Can you just like shut up? It's like 530 <laughs> in the morning. That's, that's when you say, look, you're ruining the vibe of my vlog. You're ruining the vlog. Yeah, yeah. You don't understand. So so I had to climb the steps and do the vlog up there. But, you know, it was kind of funny. But this place is also packed. Like you come here like an hour later, it's a freaking madhouse. So. It's always good to know people that live there that can take you outside of like the tourist areas and like show you like spots that you would normally like would never ever visit. So also a key thing with like meeting people, you know, that come to Toronto, like, you, you know, when it's like usually like normal times and people come from like different countries, you usually make friends, especially at the meetups when they come and they come out to hang out because mm -hmm. you're on vacation. It's, it's happened quite a bit and people, you know, you just make friends at the meetup and then you get their Instagram, and then before you know it, you got friends in different countries, and then you never know, right? You may like end up there mm -hmm. one day, yep. and they can return the favor, show new spots. Yep. And I think um, if I'm to travel now, um, one of the things that I think will be beneficial is um, look out for meetup groups, something similar yeah. to get out and shoot in yes. the city where you're visiting, right? Yes. Uh, it might afford you a better opportunity of getting yeah. some cool shots whilst you're there yeah uh, this this was a trip with paul you know this one is a backyard exploration travel <laughs> this i think is downtown oakville yeah great shot um, by the way oh, nice. right there and then this one um i think this was uh bellington the day, the, yep. the day we went to bellington yep, yep. and we couldn't get the sunset the sunrise 
the that's almost got a film-like yeah. quality to it. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, this at that time, I think I was still using the Mavic Mini, so these were just JPEGs that I kind of processed a little bit. So I did just minor edits on them. Mm -hmm. um, nice. This is Niagara Falls. Uh, Niagara Falls. Yep. On the street. This was actually during COVID. The streets are basically empty all around everywhere. It's the uh, COVID yeah. documentation. Just Niagara Falls. The whole place was empty. Um, and that never uh, happens. <laughs> yeah, that never happens. So I just took the opportunity to get some shots while I was out there. Um, the, the only, you see how the, the horn blower is basically empty with only two people on it. I don't even know why they were still operating at that time, but that's crazy. You can see how empty it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Paul, mute your mic. <laughs> Let's see, this is Ottawa. Yeah, I, I like the. I've been to Ottawa a couple times, just go by myself. Uh, yeah. So I'm walking oh, around cool Parliament there. Hill. This is several years ago now, because when you actually had crowds. And I just thought it was a cool yeah. scene. You know, this guy on a bike taking a photo, yeah. the RCMP officer right there, just chatting with totally. them. And, you know, I like capturing different scenes like that, too, when I'm out somewhere that you don't normally... Uh, yeah. Gain a moment, man. The typical tourist shot, taking the taking their cell phone out and then snapping away, and what's up? And then there you go, the family selfie in front of the Parliament buildings. <laughs> you need the family <laughs> selfie, man. <laughs> need uh, the family. You gotta get back to Ottawa. Do a collab with Just Tries. That I'd love to. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it. we should we should plan a few local travels, you know, few stuff outside of the, the GTA. I'm game. Well, I went to I school in fly. Ottawa, so I do um, have a couple of friends there. Um, it's a cool city. Like, I wouldn't personally live there, but it's a cool city to like visit. I guess because I'm a Leaf fan, and I can't really like be a Suns fan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here, here's a few more Ottawa. Nice. I love doing night photography, as I don't know if you all know that, but no, we uh, did. <laughs> canal, nice. So yeah, go walk around a city. You really, if you really want to see a city truly, go walk around and just. Yeah. Uh, I love walking around at night, capturing these shots. Uh, yeah, you know. They just look so different at night. And uh, the canal's great, man. Yeah. And I'll just something about it. I love. And so, for Paul. That was like even just the group of us walking around Toronto the other night. Yeah. You just need yeah. great stuff at night. And there's less people around. So. Mm -hmm. East Block. Yeah. I don't know it's just cool. You walk around, uh, and I actually went that one night. I was there. I actually talked to the the couple RCMP officers. Nice. I said, "Hey, if I'm here at like two a.m., are you guys going to kick me out?" And they were like, "No." Yeah, exactly. As, as long as you're not doing anything uh, stupid, yeah. you're you're allowed to stay. So don't be afraid to go talk to locals if you no. are having dinner. Talk to that waiter, waiter or waitress. You know, ask them if they have any cool yeah. spots that they know of that you can check out. Uh, or if you're sharing an Airbnb with a punk yep. band from Oshawa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which was fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No. If you if you can talk to some locals, try and you know get some cool locations, possibly, or uh, you know. Don't be afraid to ask because they might know some cool spots that you guaranteed might not find on a map. So uh, guaranteed. So guaranteed, man. 
you're there to travel and explore, so mm-hmm. we'll do it. Well, yeah. that, you also sometimes you get really good hosts if you happen to book through Airbnb. Yeah. Like when I Andre and I were out east, um, one of the places we stayed, they had a binder full of everything local yeah. restaurants, bars, where to shop for booze, where to shop for groceries. If you wanted to sightsee, where to go, everything, just this huge binder of stuff on the coffee table. Yeah. So you could just look up anything you yeah. wanted. I see that's the advantage with with Airbnb also being cheaper compared to like hotels. You do get like oh, a more, more local experience. Yeah. I stayed at probably like over 20, 25. I've never had a bad experience with, with them. No. Well, the one the one place Brian and I stayed at in Sydney on Cape Breton Island, we had a whole house. Yep. Oh yeah. And, and and it was cheaper than getting a hotel. So we yeah. had a whole house, full kitchen, yep. separate bedrooms. It was awesome. Uh, so, living room, fireplace, everything. Yeah. 75 bucks. 75 yeah. bucks. Yeah. The uh, rules are changing with Airbnb. A lot of them be, being licensed and like tax now. So um, it's not as cheap as it used to be, but it's still cheaper. But like... There was a whole debate like a couple years ago, like how it's like ruining like the hotel industry and how it's not, there was a big debate about it. Like a lot of people were like really against it. And like, I don't know, like you're just, you're just pr- providing a service, right? I, I, I think, think it offers a, a more authentic experience. If you have it to, does. Like it if does. you're staying in the, in downtown Paris in an Airbnb yeah. versus a glitzy hotel, you're just, you're going to get a totally different experience. Yeah, I think I have one of an Airbnb. Mind you, um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Not everybody wants a hotel either, right? They want the no. more homey, cozy feeling of something. So, and that's what I did in Ottawa. I just I had an apartment, a whole apartment to myself. It was like seventy bucks a night. Stayed there yeah. for the three nights. Uh, Parking included. So I was like, I was about a 20 minute walk from the parliament building, uh, maybe a half an hour, but it was a great way to see the city. And uh, well, the, the last time my kid and I went to Ottawa, it was basically you park your car at a neighboring hotel because the hotel we were staying at, their parking was full and you had no in out privileges for your car at all. Right. It's like, that was, that was the last hotel stay I ever had. Yeah, I'm either oh, setting fine. up my tent or I'm doing an Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. And I'm not opposed uh, to camping. Camping's great. Yeah, if you can camp, camp it, I guess, right? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Who am I? So I'm just trying to find this photo real quick. <clears throat> this Airbnb. Yeah, where are you? I'll get it. I'll get it. Should I remove you for now? Yeah. <laughs> so, anybody well, else? Where? Before. What's on your wish list of places to go? Um, outside of <clears throat> yeah, Atlantic I'd- Canada, I also want to go to Iceland. Hundred percent. And Africa. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get there, man. I gotta go to the fam. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to go to Africa, but I don't want to go to Ghana. I want to try no. somewhere else. Well, Ghana. If I go to Ghana, yeah, I still can get so- shots, but that won't be. That will be more like a. It's, for me, it's not a vacation. It's just going to see the family. Right, right, right. I want to go somewhere else. You want a vacation? Outside. Vacation. You want a vacation? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, so, so we're in Africa, man. Like, where do you want? It's a big place. Yep. Where do you want to go? Africa. South Africa. Um, I'm trying to go, yeah, somewhere in the south, but not South Africa. Uh, maybe okay. Rwanda. Oh, yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, somewhere around down there. So I'd love to do one of those South African trips where you spend some time in Cape Town and then some time in the nature reserves. And so you get yeah. spend some time out in the countryside with some of the tribes it's just it's an all-around experience and you just you get to really see mm-hmm. all the different sides of the culture there like walking around cape town would be incredible i think 
Yep, hundred percent. You want me to share you, Evans? Uh, yeah. Whilst we're waiting for Paul, I I'm ready. I got one. it. You can go. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll go after Evans. I'll go after Evans. <laughs> All right. Nice. Um, this is just walking down the streets, um, Niagara Falls. So I stood up on top of one kind of bridge, um, shooting down towards the roads. Uh, the falls will be right to your, to the right. Um, I just wanted a little bit of a tighter crop on this one. Uh, this is also the falls. Uh, this shot I took from my hotel room window nice. uh, with a long lens. Kind of zoomed in all the way out. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like that. Ooh, you can watch the like pyramids of Sudan. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kenya is like a nice shot. place to go to. Yeah. Tanzania and Zimbabwe, all of them. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Tanzania and Zimbabwe, also yeah, Southern Africa, closer to South Africa, that area. That would be awesome. Pyramids in Guatemala would be cool too. Yeah. The the good thing about Southern Africa is that when you go there, it's not just about the architecture and the streets and stuff. Mm -hmm. You also get a little bit of wildlife and stuff like that, right? That can mix yeah. in there. So it's, yeah. it's so much stuff happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. So is that where you stayed? That's my Airbnb. Yeah. No, nice. like thirty euros. <laughs> Mind you, thirty place, euros. What? Yeah, it was dirt. It was dirt cheap. But mind you, there's no air conditioning, and like the room was like the size of my closet. <laughs> oh well. The shower. How often like, are you, you know, in your room, though? I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like, but like honestly, like the shower was beside the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wouldn't bother me at all. No, but like you couldn't. You couldn't have. You couldn't have two people there. It would be impossible. Like. It was almost 30 like, euros with a view like that. I mean, yeah, oh. like it was insane. Like it was, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if this person still lists, but if you want to go to Paris, message me. I can send you the Airbnb link because I don't <laughs> think you can beat that. Basically, staring at my neighbors across the uh, crowd, like these neighbors here. There's, it's crazy. It must be really super rich to live in these places, man. It's insane. Um, great view though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, you can't like beat that. Kim said, yeah. "Always expect small in Europe." Yes. Oh yeah, it's tiny. It was like it was like really tiny though. But can't complain. But when you're traveling, how much time do you spend in your hotel room? Oh, I wasn't there at all. Like I didn't like I didn't even sleep really. So, t like, so I don't I, like I don't really go to the museums. I, I, all I do is shoot all day. That's all I do. All day, all night, just shoot stuff. Yeah, save some money, get a small Airbnb, and just uh, yeah, and I just get like baguettes, and I don't spend really any money on food, really, to be honest with you. Um, uh, who's that, Brian? Okay, let's share. That is me. Woohoo! This is on the East Coast, and one thing well, I would I suggest would if you're traveling. Yeah is capture yourself in the environment you're traveling in. Yeah. Document yourself being there. And I happen to I happen to really love this place. Uh, this was near the Louisburg Lighthouse and it was just incredible, nice and stormy and the, the Atlantic Ocean crashing in on the rocks and mm -hmm. Can't beat it, man. Oh, it was a fantastic day. Can't beat it. I could have stayed there a lot longer than we did. <laughs> oh God, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rondell says East Coast is on his list this year. Uh, if you yeah. want, to, if you want a few ideas, Rondell, message me privately because I can tell you where you should go and where you shouldn't go depending on how long you're going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, it's a stream. Oh, so um, people may not know, but like Fabiana here, she was with us. She was in Toronto and she came out to a bunch of meetups. So she was from Italy. She went back to Italy and she started her own meetup group there. So oh, wow. it's like it's like a sister meetup group of our group. So when I went there in August of 2019, she did a meetup for me. That's <laughs> awesome. This is, this, is, this is the meetup group. 
so it was pretty interesting experience because everyone was asking me like questions about like Toronto and like the meetup. I'm like, oh yeah, it's like basically like this, you know? So, I mean, honestly, she, Fabian is still doing meetups. Like she's doing it by herself, so it's not easy, especially like, you know, Italy got out much worse than us, but she still like did meetups whenever she could. So nice. Um, full marks for her for doing that. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool that she, she did the meetup for me. So if you're ever in like Rome, Message me, I can hook you up with Fabiana. Maybe I should do a meetup for you. She probably would, to be honest. So awesome. We went out for pizza after and like like real Italian pizza. Like we were like were in this like, like 12 in this photo or I was 12. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was so hot. Yeah. You really look Paul. young in that photo. I was so hot. You know, like it was hot, man. Well, because I because 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 I had a haircut. <laughs> I actually got a haircut before I went, which is nice. Nice. Oh, this is August 2019. Really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. So that was fun. Nice. Anyway, if I can put her uh, IG in the chat. Let me do that. Right. Oh, actually, I guess you have to do that, eh? Or do what? Can I do that? Fabiana's IG. Uh, Andre uh, would have to do it. Yeah. Or if you, you're not posting the link and you're just pushing. Well, it's not a link. Just yeah, if you just put the at, can... yeah, if you just put the at, you're okay. I think. Right, I'll do that then. I'll share Rules. one more East Coast photo just because. Rules. Oh, okay. <laughs> Such a good time. Oh man, I cool. love that place. I love that place. I'd go back there tomorrow if I could. Oh, yeah. Uh, go walk on those rocks again. Where's the, yeah. where's the rainbow shot? I just want to... Because Andre and I got lucky and actually happened to be at Peggy's Cove when there was a rainbow there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Rondell, so that's Peggy's that. Cove. Yeah, Peggy's Cove. Peggy's Cove. This is and, one of yeah. the one of the reasons why I want to go back to I yeah. Don't, I like <coughs> 30, 35, 35 minutes outside of Halifax. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, just incredible there. And getting that rainbow right behind. That's that was all well timed. Also have yeah, shots. Time. This was the last night of our trip. The first night of our trip, we got the Milky Way behind Peggy's Cove. Yeah, that was nice. It was. I think. Do I have that one queued up with these? Mm -hmm. uh, the, that's a rough one. That's not my final edit, but that's one. Yeah. One of many I took that night. Yeah, that was a good trip. It was. Stop sharing. And that's that's the whole thing about checking out your own country first. There's so much. I guarantee there's so much you haven't seen of it. So yeah. go I'm from one coast to the other, and uh, I, mean, I mean, forget about even the country, the, your own province, right? Well, yeah. Because, <laughs> like I said, yeah. the last time I went to Rattray Marsh. Um, I've lived in Brampton for almost 16 years. Uh, never been to Red River Marsh right here in Mississauga, right? Yep. It was a beautiful, different experience altogether being there. And then, like Brian and I were talking earlier, Kay, you know, I go up to like Lake Superior area and you're just gonna oh. like mm, it. But even Algonquin Park, like Andre and I yeah. were, drove up there in December before everything locked down again. Yeah. And it was just nice and snowy and yeah. Got some great moose shots out of it in the snow. But you don't have to go that far to no. find cool stuff. No, you don't. So part of the mor moral of this show is go check out your own backyard first, and yeah, uh, travel in your travel in your own backyard, and uh, save those save those big trips for something special. Then you'd be amazed you know, how much uh, how much there is within three hours of where you live. Yeah. yeah. 
And I think that sometimes we go on IG, we look at all these travel photographers, we look at all the shots. But in most of the scenarios, when you look at some of the best shots they got, they get from their own backyard. Mm -hmm. right? So I, they, I can't remember the guy's <laughs> name, but there, there's an award-winning British landscape photographer who never takes a photo more than 20 minutes from his house. Yeah. yeah. And he wins all kinds of landscape awards because yeah, he knows the he area so he well. Knows the scene. Yeah, he, knows the scene. he knows, okay, if the sun's doing this, I need to get to this spot to yeah, get yeah. a great photo. Exactly. Exactly. Totally. I was just sharing uh, a travel photographer that I can show people, uh, Brendan. Uh, so Brendan is from Alberta. Um, He's currently living in Portugal right now, but um, his thing was that you don't need to travel to be a travel photographer. Like you basically travel photography is selling a destination. So you can be selling Brampton, you can be selling Mississauga, you can be selling wherever you want to sell, but travel photography is just selling a destination to someone that makes someone want to visit. So it's not about leaving somewhere. It's about promoting where you want to promote. So that was his kind of theory on it. Now he is a worldwide travel photographer. So he had to, he has a different kind of take on it. Um, but he's like a really, really good landscape photographer. Um, funny story was like before I started YouTube, uh, he came to Toronto for a meetup and he, he does vlogs too. And I was actually in his vlog when he came up. I think if you search Brendan Vance in Toronto, you can probably find the video. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty, pretty cool day. Everyone, everyone, everyone had like lots of questions for him, obviously. But he's just he's just crushing it. So he's in like Lagos, Portugal, or something. So nice. he opened up like his own like art gallery, his own photo gallery, coffee shop. Like he's living the dream, basically. So cool. remember over there, I'll have to like go visit. I'll have to go Speaking visit and say, hey, remember me? <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of promoting local, at eight forty-five tonight, I'm promoting yeah. local on my YouTube channel. That's it. Ooh. See what I mean? See the segue? There we go. <laughs> See the segue? <laughs> had to, had to get the shameless plug in there, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Like, the only is, sad thing is that we can't even promote our own Brampton because they kick you out. No, they've you gotten better. <laughs> they've gotten better. Okay. I will say. So. Here's an yeah, actual for you. We won't go there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Banger. It's a banger. Nice. This is where he lives now. So he basically he goes and shoots like here every day. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame, eh? <laughs> that must get boring. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it does. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it does. Here's a Northern Lights photo. He does He does do, like, workshops. Like, he's starting to roll the work. Like, he actually does workshops where nice. you can, like, travel somewhere and you can, like, go with them for a workshop, whatever the case is. So uh, I'm not sure on, like, the logistics with COVID and all that, but... I saw him, if, like, you're, if you're cool. Canadian, stay in your house. Yeah, I guess, right? So, or Ontarian, ooh. sorry. The rest of Canada is... Yeah. Smartening up. Brendan right there. But yeah, it's from Alberta, so there you go. Good, nice. old, good, old, good old Canadian boy. Good for him. Good old Canadian boy. What is it with Canadian guys on YouTube? That's it, man. The Mecca, the Mecca. But yeah, it was funny because he was like just doing his vlog. I'm like, how the hell do you do a vlog? He's like, oh, it's easy. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, oh, you want to be in a vlog? I'm just like, sure. <laughs> Start talking. I'm like, this is so weird, man. <laughs> little, little did I know. The yeah. video got like 10,000 views, I think. I don't know. If you search Brendan Vance in Toronto, you'll see me being, an, being like an idiot. So his whole, his whole like, because I was promoting like get out shoot then. So his whole like message of the video was, um, it's always good to like go with a group, like being like a group mentality. So that was like the theme of the video. So it was interesting. Nice. Yeah. So little did I know what was going to happen like a year later or whatever it was. Now, will I get to 115,000 subs? Who knows? I need to get, I need to, I need to get to 400 first. <laughs> uh, you get in there. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's happening. If you, hey, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe to our channels. Also, like this video. Uh, that's a good little segue right there. What else? Follow Open Share YouTube. Yeah. Uh, what else do we want people to do? Get Lots out there things. and shoot. Get out there and shoot. 
Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find that video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Photographers <laughs> in Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, there that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Eight point six thousand views. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a low one for him. But are you gonna bring it up? Uh oh. <laughs> it's hilarious. I think, I think, I think I'm at the end. I think I'm at the end of the video. If I remember. At the end, it's all nighttime. Yeah, a little before that. A little before okay. that. Like three quarters where, I think. I'm just skimming quick. We're on the bridge of the of the waterfront, Queen's Quay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to play his content on Andre's channel. Mm, yeah, we might get copyright, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, forget that. But idea. it's there. It is there. But it's there. Yeah. Photographers in yeah, yeah. Toronto, welcome to the six. That's the yeah, video that's title. It. Anyway, yeah, it's a good point. Don't because copyright issue. Yeah, we'll watch it later. Friend, Brendan may come down on us. I doubt he would. Yes, he's not. <laughs> we're like good for you guys. So. Hey, we're Canadian. Yeah. Nah, he'd we're be cool. We're I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't think. I don't think he would care. No, actually, when it's on YouTube, you're fine. It's fair to use it. too. It's fair use, right? Yes. Yeah, you can use some portions of it. Attribution, you have to pause it significantly and have commentary over it and alter it enough. But yeah, there are yeah. fair use things you can do. Right. That's how all these reactors get away with doing reaction videos. Mm -hmm. It's fair use. Good point. Good point on that. Yeah. So many rules, so many laws. Yes. Yeah. Need a lawyer. Need a lawyer on this show. Where's the, enter where's the entertainment lawyer? <laughs> it's happening. It's along with the marketing budget. Yep, it's happening. We have one. No, no it ran out. We didn't even have the opening countdown today, so I guess it ran I know, out. I know, not even. I know. Oh yeah, okay. I, I know, right? <laughs> Rookie move. It's okay. It's okay. At least you press. At record. least you press live. <laughs> <laughs> or live. <laughs> Live record. Evans, we, Evans we, is going to get us back in a really big way, I think. I know. Yeah, sure. I, have, I have that feeling. This is going to get us back in a really big way. We're not yeah, even going to see a problem. It We're not even going to see it coming. Just one day, he's going to like low down. You know why we won't see it coming? Because he'll forget to record it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> One day Sorry, Evans buddy. is going to be streaming like a so supermodel Kim, or something. Kim, Kim says he knows someone who Maybe has copyright. copyright. Kim, will that I, come I will message show? you after the show because I'm really interested in having um, someone with that kind of stuff on the show one of the one of these days, right? Oh, that would be fantastic. Um, talk about copyright um, as well as you know some photography, videography laws and stuff like that. Oh, your rights, your rights on the street and things like that. Uh, yeah, that yeah, that would be style, fantastic. You know. Yeah. It will be great yeah, to have that knowledge that for when, when we go out doing street shots and stuff like that. It will help us maybe. be mindful of what we're doing. Yeah, you're actually allowed to do a lot in Canada. Yeah, yeah. you are. Yep. Yeah. You are, you are. Well, Kim, ask them if they want to come to the show. Mm -hmm. We don't pay, so hopefully that person's okay with that. <laughs> 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 lawyer, lawyer, lawyers are okay with not paying, right? They're Kim's going to get us the names anyway, so that's, oh, that's it's a plus. pro bono or something. Pro Thanks, bono Kim. work. Yeah. Well, run down, run down into it. That yeah, seat right there. Yeah, good. Run down into it. Let's go. Okay, we're, it's going to happen. It's going to come after the NFT show. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I was excited about that. I still want to see. June 23rd, guys. June yeah. 23rd. Next year is newborn. That's, yeah, friend. next week. Next week is newborn. I've got a guest coming and, on. And we're going to be on my channel. Yeah. So bring all your baby questions, you know, within within reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, YouTube uh, friendly baby questions. Yeah, YouTube friendly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be good. That'll be good. And then the week after, I think NFT. Once we get the internet sorted out in Texas. Yeah, open for business, but but not open for internet. But the internet. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, the first thing I do when I move is I make sure the internet's up. <laughs> I don't even worry about it. Is the internet working? Yeah, yeah. I That's I can do without a phone, now. but no, without oh, the internet. <laughs> it's a mandatory. Yeah. Forget the heat, the electricity, is the water, water. <laughs> like semantics. I don't, I don't need a shower. I'm not going anywhere. 
Yeah. But anyway. I need to get on YouTube and stream myself. Need to upload this. Ooh. Need to upload the video. Yeah. Anyway. So that's June 23rd. And then the week after is what, Canada Day weekend? Is Canada Day so. on a Wednesday? Thursday. No, day before. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So, so the okay. last day of June is our, um, our show. Oh, okay. so we got to do, like, do, do like a Canada Day special that day. Yeah, maybe get some okay. Canadian guests. We got to do like something on Canada Day. Yeah, okay. We got to think about that now. Get some famous Canadian YouTubers. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll message Chris. You message Peter. I'll message yep. uh, Lizzie. I'll yeah. say yes. They're not busy. No, not at all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share one money. more photo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Sell it, man. Sell Most it. people know where that is. Good old Burlington. Is so. that Burlington? <laughs> <laughs> Burlington doesn't look that nice, does it? Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah, get out and explore your own backyard. Uh, that's a drone shot I took when we tried to do the sunrise. Oh, that, that, was, that was the perfect day, yeah. Yeah. It's a great sunrise. Yeah. If you, you were actually managed to get a shot out of that. You managed to get a good shot out of that one, eh? Yeah. So just get out there and shoot people. Boom. Drop it. Yep. Drop yeah, it. Drop. Get out and shoot. Cool, guys. Yeah. Was it oh, are we past time? Yeah, we're a little bit past time. Okay. So yeah, keep Thanks watching for an announcement out. on Meetup. Yeah, there's a rumor going down. I mean, there's we can only rumor. have 10 people, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> I can't count, oh. though. Well, you guys can't count. But I can't. I'm just saying it for all, like, the people, the legal people <laughs> <laughs> out there. I like to follow the rules, you know. <sighs> Anyways, it'll be fun. It'll be good to get out and see people and just hang out a little bit. Kim said we should get Rondell and Sean. Well, Rondell's Lewis. here. <laughs> yeah, we could get Rondell on the show anytime. Rondell, sure. one, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sean clicks, sure. I wonder if, uh, what's his face? Um, Dr Dr Jesse Driftwood would come on. If we got him his Twitter handle, I'm sure he would. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just curious if he actually would. I feel like he might... He, like you might have, you might have a shot with like, with Jesse. I, feel, I think you would. I feel like you might have at least a, sh a glimmer of hope. Yeah, out of glimmer. everyone, I think your your chances are better best with him. Yeah, I don't know, it'd be interesting to get him on just because you know because he knows people, right? So you never know what, yeah. what that could start. Yada yada yada. We got Elon, we got Elon Musk on next week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Meek said he's got a guest lined up, so Meek said he has a guest. We don't know who that is. I mean, we're it could speculating be Elon. that it's Elon it Musk. Be, it could be Lenny well, from, from Meek. Meek runs with the big guys now, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Ben. Oh, the the cowboy is Canadian. Yes, he is. Well, well, we could get him on the show. Mm. Well, he ne he never answers our texts, though. <laughs> nice to answer. We have, a couple the, times. the cowboy only shows up for the big bucks. <laughs> we're not we're not we're not the big bucks yet no i will talk to him <sighs> work it work it for us hon yeah, for i us. will i Make will yes so who's going after jesse driftwood should we all message him or uh <laughs> well that's not, not, not like pander him but like one of us can message him <laughs> let's all message him you see that hey, jesse 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 jesse, jesse. <laughs> You want to take that one, Paul? Or uh... sure, I can do Go it. For it. Okay, I have no we shame. Can't see what happens. I have no shame. You're the well, leader of the group. Am I? Yeah. That's a scary thought. You, you're the boss. <laughs> you're the Tony Stark. I'm the oh. Tony Stark of the. <laughs> that means you're gonna snap your fingers and die. Yeah, fantastic. Spoiler alert. Spoiler <laughs> alert. If you haven't seen it yet, sorry. <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> but I don't have to now. <laughs> good times so well, that's a great way to end the show okay guys yeah. uh yeah thanks for uh thanks everyone for jumping party. on thanks everybody, kevin thanks. for saying fixing thanks everybody thanks for watching everybody next week guys, newborns yes newborn i don't have show a baby, next week but that's gonna be interesting yeah newborn photography is a different world yeah Literally. i don't do it but i have all the respect for people that do I've tried a few of them, but I love not it for me. The people who love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. 
I don't want to do it. No. Okay, cool, people. Anyway. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Have everyone, for watching. Thank you. Take care.